Welcome to the Grok Shop. In a previous video, I showed how you can repair your squealing disc brakes. This video will be sort of an addendum to that video. So in some cases, if you catch the contamination early enough, you'll only have contamination on the outer surface of the pads. Sanding, cleaning with alcohol might be enough to get rid of it. However, brake pads are porous, and if you go through this process and you're still having problems, it's probably because the pad has absorbed some of the contaminants into the pad itself and you need to basically cook these contaminants out now if you're single or you happen to have the coolest wife husband or significant other on the face of the earth uh, you can cook them in the oven and your pizza might taste a little funny uh, but say 300 degrees for 15 or 20 minutes i would think would do it another possible approach would be to throw them in a vat of isopropyl alcohol and set it on fire that sounds a little risky to me so i don't recommend that this is the best approach I've found for me. I just put the pads into a vise, fire up the propane torch, and heat them up directly onto the pad surface itself, uh, moving the heat around. Basically, you'll see it start to smoke for a while. Um, just keep heating it and keep adding heat until the smoke stops. And at that point, the contaminants are fully cooked. Now to minimize boredom, I've sped up the video. The actual time for me to cook the pads was around about three minutes. Once they're fully baked, it's a good idea to go ahead and go through that same process of sanding down the surface to get a nice rough scuffed up surface. And the same for the rotor. You wanna make sure it's nice, clean, and scuffed up as well. After you've sanded the pads, you can blow off the dust and then just give a quick rinse with alcohol. So if you've gone through all this and you're still having problems, you might want to try some anti-squill paste, which you put on the back of your pads. I'll put a link to something like that for you below. But barring that, if this process doesn't fix you, you're probably gonna just need new pads. Also, make sure you've tried to eliminate the source of any contamination that you have. Be sure to avoid touching the pad and rotor surfaces as you reassemble everything. And don't forget to follow a good bedding in process like I showed in my squeal stop video. That's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Good luck with those pads. Be sure to stay tuned for more bike related videos, but as far as cooking your pads to get the contaminants out, that's how it's done. Thank you.